What's up, everybody? My name is John Hammond, and we're looking at a simple conversation from the miscellaneous category of HSCTF. It says, someone on the internet wants to talk to you. Can you find out what they want? We have a netcat connection here and some source code to download called talk.py. So let's go ahead and just connect to this first. It says, hello. Hey, can you help me out real quick? I need to know your age. What's your age? Uh, 12. Because I'm in high school. Wow, sometimes I wish I was 12, it was nice. <laughs> okay, that's all we get. That's all she wrote. Let's go ahead and download this talk.py and see what we can do with it here. It's in that HS directory, so let's get talk.py. It says, from time, sleep, import, blah, 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 sleep every couple seconds. That's really annoying. I hate when there's like staggered output, especially in a netcat service. Input, okay, sleep, wow, and that's it. Prints out age, no format there. The vulnerability we can take advantage of. That's it. That's literally all it does. Uh, that looks totally fine to me, right? So if we connect to it, let's say let's say some stupid stuff. Let's say, okay, you need to know my age. Uh, please subscribe. Oh! Please subscribe is not defined. Okay. That's weird because this uh, script says it's using Python 3 which properly uses input, but Python 2 does not. That'll like straight evaluate, and it looks like that's what it tried to do when I entered a string there rather than rather than an age. So can we do like more damage? Let's can, can we like import stuff? Um, underscore underscore import, and then uh, kind of like a function call with parentheses around a name. It actually oh it's uh, underscores around import the word, and then. Uh, you can use the parentheses and enter a string for something you're trying to import. It says, wow, sometimes I was, <laughs> I wish I were the OS module from Python 2.7. Okay, okay. So we found out some cool stuff. We can import modules, and it's totally using Python 2. So if we have this module, we can totally do things like have code execution. Let's import OS, and then from that module, let's just run system, right? Because we can run commands. Let's check out ls, see what's in the current directory. Ooh, totally in the root, <laughs> and there's a flag.txt. So let's go ahead and cat that out, right? Super simple. Help me out real quick. What's your age? My age is the flag, dude. Um, system. And let's cat flag.txt. Crank. Yeah! <laughs> Please use Python 3. Okay, that's cool. Sweet. So, simple challenge, right? A little bit of, little bit of fun. And you would submit that, and you'd get good old 170 points. Kind of a neat trick. Um, I've seen that a bit before, the p between the Python 3 and Python 2 uh, differences in the input function. Keep that in mind. Um, Python 2 is going away, right? It's going to end the support uh, the start of 2020, January 1st, 2020. I've heard threats. Like, they're just going to straight up um, remove all the Python 2 documentation. And it's just, we're, we're done. <laughs> no more Python 2. Um, however, that's going to be a good thing. Python 3.9 is going to like try and clean up the global interpreter lock and stuff, right? All the stuff we've been running into for Katana. So, all right, that's the video, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> if you like this video, uh, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Love to see you in a in another another video. Love to see you in the Discord channel. That's in the description. I'm really bad at these. It's getting late. Hope to see you on Patreon. Hope to see you on PayPal. Thanks, guys. See you. Okay.